Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you've not been here before. Today's reading is number 16 out of the 1001 Tarot readings, and today is answering the question, what do the next two time periods have in store for you? The book recommends that this either be weeks or months when you are about to have a opportunity or a large decision to make. It's another two card reading, and we are continuing with Tarot de la Nuit. Nuit. I don't speak French. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> but the cards are beautiful, and let's get into it. So in this reading, the first card represents either the first week or the first month after the reading, and then the second card represents the second week or second month. So for myself, I am going to look at this in the terms of months. So it is currently August of 2024, so this would be September and October, right? August, September, October, November. Yeah. <laughs> I promise, I do know what the calendar looks like, it's just... Uh, time is, time is a construct, so let's see what it tells us. Um, they recommend for this reading using the 40, uh, court cards and the major arcana, separating out the court cards of the, the, the face cards. Okay. So card number one. Oh, the Fool. And card number two, the Seven of Cups. So the Fool is upright, so that's always a positive thing. Opportunities, choices. The Fool represents that limitless opportunity of you haven't made your choice yet, but the road is open before you. In this case, there's a few things I want to draw attention to of this particular Fool card. So um, I'm going to have trouble getting this in focus, but I will do my best. So she is sitting on a flowering tree in the branches. That is indicative of spring. That is indicative of growth. So not only is this there are opportunities in front of you, it's an opportunity of growth. What you do now will lead to some sort of payoff later. Just like these flowers on a fruit tree, if you take care of the tree, will lead to fruit later. That is the type of opportunity you're looking at. Something that's going to require attention and dedication. You can't just, like, set it and forget it. Because if you do, you'll be subject to the whims of weather. Card number two is reversed. It is the Seven of Cups. So some of the iconography here. Uh, remember this is coming from Tarot de la Nuit or Tarot of the Night. So a lot of the imagery here is based in nighttime landscapes. But you can see in this picture there is a woman in a contemplative position where she is kneeling, her eyes are closed, her hands are clasped before her, and she is being framed by the moon or illuminated by the moon. The second month is going to be more difficult here. There are, it's another card that really represents options, and I'll also point out in this particular version um, she is surrounded by mist. She has fire and stones uh, and leaves in the air around her. She is surrounded by imagery of the elements. There are going to be not just choices, but when you pick your path over these next two months, 
the it's going to be difficult to change your mind when you pick your path you need to pick it for the long haul it's not just these next two months that we're we're looking at in this reading i feel because those two months are going to set you up for your future endeavors the same way that you need to take care of your orchard, as represented in The Fool, as you need to take care of those fruit trees, if you don't balance those elements like, like she is in the uh, Seven of Cups, where she's got representations of the different elements literally floating around her in balance, you're going to be losing options as you as you stop having that balanced approach. Yeah, so hope that helps <laughs> in your decision-making process of what to focus on in the next two months. And if you've been liking these videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.